What's going on guys, MosaGillsHD here, as most of you guys probably already know. So guys, in this video today, I want to go ahead and talk about something that has been up for a huge debate over the last couple weeks, and I want to talk about today in this video. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be asking, why is there a huge debate currently, and what does it involve? So last week, ESPN2, which is, if you guys aren't familiar over here in the United States, is the channel that you typically would broadcast the NBA, the NFL, the National Football League, is for example... And they would mostly broadcast sports, and sometimes they'd go a little bit out of their way and, let's say, broadcast Olympic chess or something along those lines. But they went full out this weekend. So the ESPN2 director finally allowed esports to be broadcasted on television over here, and people flipped. People went absolutely crazy when they got on, you know, finally got home to check their TV. They finally got home from work or a family event. Went to their sports channel and saw that eSports was on there and there was Heroes of the Storm being played across the network. And what did they do when they saw that this was being broadcasted across ESPN2? They went to social media. So they were on Facebook. It was the number one trend. And on Twitter. It was also the number one trend in the world. So why is this so important? And what does this really say, you know, for the future of eSports? For right now, it's still small scale. It is a success in esports in general that, you know, Heroes of the Dorm, which is our collegiate event for Heroes of the Storm, was being broadcasted on ESPN2. That is a huge step forward compared to what we have been at for the past couple years. Before, you know, the ESPN directors have all said, esports is not a sport, it's a competition, but it is not an actual sport. And then, you know, a lot of people started criticizing him. Is chess really a sport? Or is it not? And then, you know, people started just breaking it down and trying to find the true meaning. Is esports a real sport or not? Or is it more or less a competition? And the ultimate conclusion by the broadcast this weekend, I would now assume that sports are now considering esports to actually be a sport, considering with this broadcast. So what does this mean with the future of esports? Like I said, this isn't a huge deal. This is something that is definitely a step forward, but yet... There is a lot of ground that we need to cover before, you know, this is going to be a daily broadcast. I know that during the time that this was being broadcasted over ESPN2, there was millions and millions of people tweeting, millions and millions of people on Facebook commenting, millions and millions of people attacking, and millions of people supporting the Heroes of the Storm being broadcasted on, you know, ESPN2. So this definitely means there, there was a high viewership for this. There's a lot of attention for this game, and hopefully because of all the support that is being given to ESPN2 over these broadcasts, hopefully they'll, we'll you know, eventually see some League of Legends, we'll see some more Heroes of the Storm, maybe we'll see some Call of Duty, maybe we'll see some Destiny competitive, and we'll get to see some of our favorite esports, maybe even Smash, being broadcasted on a larger scale on TV, you know? The production value that this weekend was on ESPN2 was far to none a lot better than some other sports that are on the network, such as the Olympics. I thought the broadcast of ESPN2's Heroes of the Dorm, which is the collegiate uh, level of the Heroes of the Storm, was far to none better than a lot of content I've seen on ESPN2. There's millions of dollars probably dumped into this event, and as long as they keep up with this high production value, I don't really see a problem with them broadcasting esports. I think it's nice that, you know, you can go to Twitch and watch these events, or YouTube, wherever your favorite place is to watch these, but you can also just flip on your TV now and start to watch some of these esports events, which is really cool to see for people that haven't ever been in esports. And, you know, it's nice to see that this may be a new outlet for more people to get involved with these esports and future competitions. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys could, please hit a like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me some feedback on whether you think that esports should be broadcasted on TV or not and why. Anyways, guys, until next time, I'm Multi Kills HD, and I'm out.